Have you ever found yourself tapping your foot, biting your nails, or twirling your hair? These are all examples of stimming, and they're more common than you think. So what exactly is stimming? Stimming is short for self-stimulation, and it can involve any repetitive behavior or sound that helps to self-soothe and regulate. While everyone stims, stimming is commonly associated with autism. Stimming and autism may look a little different. It can look like rocking back and forth, flapping hands, jumping up and down, or repeating sounds. Stimming in children with autism is not always viewed as socially acceptable because it may seem disruptive, but unless it's dangerous or gets in the way of learning, it should not be stopped. So why do people stim? Stimming helps with sensory processing and regulating emotions. It can help make stressful situations, such as social interactions, a little bit easier. So remember, stimming is a coping mechanism and everyone does it. And hey, it worked for Einstein.